بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد أيها الأحباب knowledge is light and it's a source of guidance and with knowledge you can guide yourself and you can be a guidance and a light and a source for other people and the prophet said whenever Allah wants good for a person he gives him understanding of the religion so that's a sign of goodness if Allah favors you with ilm, with knowledge. And fiqh fi deen, knowledge and understanding and insight into the religion is something we all have to have a level or degree of knowledge. We need to know knowledge of the obligatory duties. We need to know how to pray. We need to know how to purify ourselves. Uh, we need to know how to, if we have the money, uh, if zakat becomes an obligation upon us, we need to be able to fulfill that duty based on knowledge. We need to know how to perform hajj if we're able to do so, uh, and it becomes an obligation upon us, etc. So all of those things which become an obligation for you, you need to, you need to have knowledge about those things. And you need to have a competent level of knowledge in order to practice What's sufficient to practice properly, away from bid'ah and away from those things which will cause you to go astray. And that's in accordance with the sunnah of Islam, the sunnah of the Prophet والسلام, and the salaf of this ummah, like the sahaba radiallahu ta'ala majma'een and the tabi'een with ba'a tabi'een and the ulama that have followed them all the way up until present time. That the importance of knowledge to practice your religion is and should be emphasized. Ayul Ahbab, this brings up the point that we should not neglect to benefit from our scholars, from the ulama. And if you don't know the Arabic language and you cannot go to and benefit from a lot of the uh, major scholars, and then you should benefit from the students of knowledge. And if you don't have access to students and knowledge, but you should, because with the internet now, those things are easy for us. And there's lots of translated material out there, books of the scholars about different issues and, uh, and explanations of books. There's so much out there uh, now that really no one has an excuse to not at least do some inquiry into their religion, into their deen. To have some basic understanding, especially in issues of creed and tawheed and basic fiqh. But it's no doubt it's important to study with the ulama is the best, with the scholars of Islam. And especially the major scholars, those scholars who have high status, who have been teaching for 30, 40, 50 years in the religion and that are known who, who are known to be imams in the religion. Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu ta'ala anhu reported that he was in Sham, meaning he was in the area, the region of Syria, modern day Syria, and said, it was reported on him, and he said, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, O people, you need knowledge before it disappears. It's, Beware bid'ah and being extreme in innovation and follow the way of old, meaning the Salaf. Ayul Ahbab, that statement in and of itself should be sufficient. Follow and learn your religion from those who adhere to Kitab Allah wa Sunnah Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and call you to that. And the understanding of the Salaf of this Ummah. And learn the Arabic language. So that way you do not have to listen to lectures like this except for as a reminder 
but rather you can go right to the scholars, get on the telephone or travel to the lands and benefit from the ulama. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us all with that and bless us with tawfiq and bless us with ilm nafir as kintayibu amna muntaqabbilan wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.